You would probably have a hard time selling Macomb opponents on this concept, but there was in fact less of Brett Taylor on the field for the Bombers this season. Nearly 30 pounds less to be exact, thanks to a rigorous offseason conditioning program that helped imbue the standout linebacker with both more stamina and more sideline to sideline mobility, which I think says a lot about Brett Taylor himself. That a kid who might well have been the best linebacker in this half of the state as a junior would work so hard on his own craft coming off a ridiculous 170 tackle season. And yet payoff, it did. Brett Taylor went from superstar to darn near superhero-esque production to the tune of 40 more total tackles than he had a season ago. That's a mind-numbing 210 stops in all or a rate of 19 tackles per game this year. To put Taylor's senior season into perspective, he had more solo stops, 195, than any other area player had total tackles. And along the way, he shattered every career and single season mark in program history. Not to mention one unfortunate opponent's eardrum from the sheer force of one of his hits. By every statistical and observable measure, Brett Taylor was nothing short of an implement of offensive destruction going so far as on one play, now immortalized on YouTube, to hurdle the opposing offensive line to make a tackle for loss. And speaking of offensive lines, while it bears no real relevance to this particular award, it does bear mentioning that Taylor proved his worth as a blocker on the other side of the football as a standout as well, fronting for a rushing attack that generated 2,951 ground yards and a pair of 1,000-yard rushers in Jared Rockhold and Eli Cousins. Considering his work rate on the other side of the football, you wonder how Brett found the energy. In short, Brett Taylor proved himself every bit the All-Stater and finished 2012 as the runner-up for our Overall Player of the Year award. But as pure defensive resumes go, I'd argue no one in Tri-State football on either side of the river comes remotely close.